The Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect is finally here. I think it's the RP2040 board that most people have been waiting for, and it was released earlier this week. It's now available on the Arduino website, uh, link down in the description. And this new Nano uses the Raspberry Pi RP2040 chip and has onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth alongside a whole host of other features. Let's start with the price. It's one of the more expensive RP2040 boards out there, as it costs about €21, Euros, uh, approximately $25, and that's without taxes or shipping. But it does appear to be packed with plenty of features uh, for your projects. So let's have a look at it. It comes in the classic Arduino cardboard box, which I must say is a bit nicer than the uh, plastic bags that some of the other uh, manufacturers use. So you get the board, some header pins, which is always nice, they're always useful in case you don't have some lying around, some stickers, and a probably useless letter flyer thing. So let's get right into it, let's look at the board now. The first thing that I notice is just how small and packed the components on the top of this board are. It's a, a single sided board with castellated edges, so if you wanted to you can solder it to the PCB. Uh, although it would be an expensive one-time job. Um, it's the same form factor as other Arduino Nanos, and it's smaller than similar RP2040 boards, such as the Adafruit Feather or the Raspberry Pi Pico. And it actually measures in, to be technical, at 43.18 by 17.78 millimeters. Let's now have a look at some of the features that this board has. It has a single reset button, Unlike some of the other RP2040 boards, which have a boot select button, uh, this board doesn't actually need it. Uh, it uses a micro USB connector, which I find a little bit disappointing. I would have preferred USB-C, especially for $25. Um, it has three LEDs, one of which is an RGB LED, one's a power LED that's on all the time, and thirdly is a general purpose orange LED that you can blink on and off uh, in software. It has 16 megabytes of flash storage, which is the max that the RP2040 chip can support. And the star of the show, probably for most people, is it has a Ublox Nina W102 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. This chip makes the board much more versatile than other RP2040 boards that I've covered on this channel. And it can support Bluetooth 4.2 and Wi-Fi uh, 802.11 B, G and N in the 2.4 gigahertz band. I do believe though that this Ublox chip is an essentially an ESP32 in a fancy case, but I might be mistaken there. It also has a six axis IMU, as well as a microphone, both of which are from ST Microelectronics, as well as a cryptographic coprocessor um, from Microchip, and this will be really useful for those um, IoT applications where you need sort of secure boot and so on. Of course, it is powered by the RP2040, which is a dual-core ARM M0 Plus processor, which can run up to 133 MHz and has uh, 264 kilobytes of onboard SRAM. I've covered this a lot in the uh, uh, in these videos, but, and you're probably familiar with them, but it's a very sort of versatile chip and has been very popular after its launch. So in terms of the pins on the uh, Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect, it has 20 digital GPIO pins, which can be configured as PWM or with I2C and SPI, for example. Two pins, uh, A4 and A5, have internal pull-ups and, uh, and can be used for I2C communication. However, the other pins rely on the RP2040's internal pull-ups, which are a little bit weaker, and so it might not be suitable for chaining um, many devices together. Eight of these 20 digital pins can actually be used as analog inputs. And there's two ground pins and a 3.3 volt and a 5 volt output pin for powering your peripherals. It should be noted that all of the GPIO on this board operates at 3.3 volts. In terms of programming the board, it's very straightforward with the Arduino IDE. You will have to install the board from the uh, board manager. I just searched for RP2040 and installed the Arduino Embed OS Nano board package. Then simply plug the board in over USB, 
There's no need to hold any reset button down or anything like that, as I believe that Arduino have pre-installed a bootloader of some description. Then open a program of your choice. I'm going to choose one of the example sketches, the multiple uh, blink sketch to be specific. Then select the Arduino from the ports menu. So this is the, uh, you've got to make sure that the COM port that the device is connected to shows up in the uh, in that list. Hit upload, wait for a few seconds, and it's done. And you can see, uh, in this case, the all of the three LEDs are on. Uh, the RGB one is alternating, and the um, sort of the general purpose orange LED is blinking on and off. Having a look at some of the other example sketches that are available, uh, just to have a little play around with the board. Um, this one's quite interesting. It uses the use the onboard microphone to record the the sound that's currently uh, being picked up around the board and plots it over uh, the serial connection. And if you go use the Arduino serial monitor and the serial plot function, you can see a, a waveform of, of what I'm saying, well, what I'm about to say anyway. This is me speaking next to the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect. Uh, and as you can see, the waveform of my voice is appearing on the serial plot. I think that's a, that's a really cool demonstration. This board really seems to have um, followed the uh, followed in the footsteps of the Nano 33 BLE, and it seems to be very as uh, focused towards the IoT or machine learning um, sort of field. There is full support for MicroPython, and there is also a full license of OpenMV. Uh, for machine vision uh, and so on, um, if that's what you're interested in. I think this has a load of features that the other RP2040 boards have lacked so far. Um, it really brings quite a lot to the um, to the table, I suppose, but at a very high price. And I am still a bit salty about the lack of USB-C for something that costs so much. Uh, but I realized that the other Arduino boards don't use it and they probably want to, to keep it the same across their product stack. Do let me know in the comments uh, what you think of this board. Will you be getting one? Will you be using one? Uh, has it come out too late and was it worth the wait? So that was a super quick first look at the new Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect. I for one am really excited to get started programming and messing around with this board. And starting next week, there'll be lots of tutorials on this channel about how to use this board in your projects. So do subscribe if you're interested in that. I hope this video was interesting and please do consider leaving a like or comment below if you have any questions or anything you want to share. Have a nice day.